What is going on everyone? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. This is Tyler the Bodybuilding Foodie and today I'm going to be showing you guys my protein pancake recipe. Let's go. Okay, so these are the exact ingredients that you are going to need for the protein pancake recipe. Starting with the protein powder. Now I'm going with the My Protein Buttery Pecan Impact Whey Protein. However, you can go with anything that floats your boat. I'm going to leave a link down below to the protein powder that I recommend to make the protein pancakes with. Moving on, we have one egg, a perfectly ripe banana. Now, the ripeness of the banana should depend on how soft and how sweet you want your protein pancakes to be. The riper the banana, the more sweet and the softer your protein pancake will be. Then we have oat flour. Now, this is literally just blended whole grain oats. Those Quaker oats back there. Coconut oil or your choice of oil to grease the pan and almond milk, which you're gonna need to help the protein powder emulsify properly. Okay, so we are gonna start by taking the banana, peeling it, and mushing it into a very soft consistency. So I like to break the banana and simply grab a fork and mush it down. Alternatively, you could use a whisk for this, however, fork would do perfectly fine. Now this consistency would be perfect. Okay, so now that you have smushed your banana, you're going to take your egg, crack it, dump it in like so, try not to get the shell into the mixture though. Now that your egg is into the banana mixture, you want to whisk it together with that same fork. So the point of this is to get a consistency that is similar to pancake batter. You take your oat flour and add approximately two tablespoons to the mixture and incorporate it like so. You can see I'm going these circular motions with my fork to scrape all of the flour off the sides. At which point you, you should be able to tell that your pancake batter is thickened. As you can see, this is the consistency you should look for. Now that you have made the base of your protein pancakes, I'm gonna tell you right now, you really don't need to add protein powder in, into this if you don't like. This tastes perfectly fine. It's just gonna have a, a very banana-y flavor to it. However, for the sake of my recipe and incorporating some more protein into this meal, I'm adding a scoop of this butter pecan, my protein, whey protein. So, dump that scoop in with that same fork. Start incorporating it into your batter. As you can see, ooh, it smells amazing. As you can see, it is getting much thicker than it was before. Now, depending on how thick your batter ends up being, you can add a splash of almond milk. Now, this looks to be pretty decent consistency. So, I'm just gonna add literally a splash, just like that. That is it. And now, it's time to rock and roll. Alright, so now it is time to cook these bad boys. Heat your stove top to medium heat. Add your choice of oil. I'm using refined coconut oil. Take just a little piece like that. Put it on the pan. Now, I'm not even going to pretend to know how much oil that was. But the best way is honestly just to eyeball it. It's good enough just to coat the entire pan. Depending on the size of the pancakes that you want, this will make approximately three medium-sized pancakes. Now that's gonna be a decent one. Okay, so now that I've added the pancake on, just leave it, let it do its thing, and you'll start to see that the corners will turn slightly more white than everything else. So the way you know that it's done cooking on one side is you're gonna wait for the corners to brown. 
So initially it will turn white, it will leaven up a bit, and then the corners should be visibly brown. Just like that. And take your spatula. Flip it just like that. Now try to do it better than me when you actually try it. Okay, I think this should be done. Oop, not yet. See, once you've flipped it once already, it's no big deal to flip it over a few more times. Right, plate, one of them. Check if your pan still got some oil on it, and add the second mixture. I'm gonna make this one a lot bigger. All right, I'm gonna attempt to flip this. Oh yes. Now, I know what you're thinking. It looks awfully burnt. However, I tend to notice that the burning occurs once you add protein powder to it. If you don't believe me, try doing the recipe without adding protein powder, and you're gonna notice that the pancake would not be burnt at all. Also, I noticed that the larger the pancake is, the more burnt it's gonna look. Look at that. Time to plate this guy. Now for this last one, I'm just gonna add the rest of this mixture because I am starving. All right, time to flip this guy. Boom. All right, plate this bad boy. And there we have it, some delicious protein pancakes. Now, rule of thumb, the small ones are not gonna darken. The bigger you make it, the more dark it's gonna be. And it's only black like this because of the protein powder. It still tastes amazing though, I promise. At this point, you can garnish it with whatever you want. You use some maple syrup, add some fruit. However, I like to eat this plain just as is. All right, time to give these guys a taste. Really, really good. Now I know it looks burnt, however, perfectly flaky, really good sweetness. It really takes on the flavor of whatever protein powder you use. Mm, look at that. Absolutely perfect as is. I don't need to add any maple syrup or fruit or anything. This is, quite frankly, the perfect snack. You can make it in bulk, bring it to work, bring it to school. Amazing. But yeah guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found this recipe delicious, please subscribe, hit the notification icon, and of course, like the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.